Hi, this is Moshe Morris from Web Yeshiva. I uh, just want to take a moment here and help us with maybe a little bit of the grammar of Perak Chav Gimel. Uh, let's just begin. Okay, here we have, By the bear Hashem El Moshe Lemor. And God spoke, and Hashem spoke to Moshe, saying, The bear of Bnei Yisrael v'marta alehem modei Hashem v'shatikru osam b'mikrei kodesh elu hem moedai. Okay, let's, let's actually just back up for a second and let's start. You know, this is gonna. I'm gonna start base. I'm gonna start actually for the more advanced people, and then I will um, do it again for people who need a little bit more help. So here it says, "The Bereb Israel speak to the children of Israel, v'amarta alehem, and say to them, Moadei Hashem, a moed, um, you know, uh, is like a meeting. Pl- uh, is, it's a meeting time or a meeting place. A va'ad is uh, like a, 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 a meeting or something." Uh, in the Chumash, the, um, the uh, which, uh, I'm not sure if it's time or place, but it's a, it's, a, it's a meeting with Hashem. So the times that we meet with Hashem, the Mo'adei Hashem, Asher Tikru Osam, Asher that, Tikru, you will call them, you will declare them, Asher Tikru Osam, Mikri E Kodesh, you will declare them a calling of holiness, a con- a con- uh, convocation of holiness, a time to to meet and proclaim holiness as uh, together as the Jewish people. Elohim Moadai. These Elohim, these are my meeting times, my meeting places, my holidays. But uh, the holiday is not just like a nice day. It's a time when the Jewish people go to the base of Mikdash and they would and they would meet Hakadosh Baruch Hu. Or maybe not give Yochel. They'd meet a Kodesh Baruch Hu at the base of Mikdash. They'd prevent th- present themselves to a Kodesh Baruch Hu so that he could see them, and we would see him at the base of Mikdash. What that means, that's another shir, another time. So this pasuk is telling us that um, that the Moedei Hashem, what a, um, that that we declare them a congregation of holiness. Those are what are are uh, Kodesh Baruch Hu's Moedim, and nothing else. In other words. Elohim Moadai, in English that probably would come first. What are my Moadim? What are my meeting times? They are the Moadei Hashem. Um, I guess it's a little repetitive, this Moadei Hashem, but uh, we'll have to deal with that factor later. That they are the, the meeting times of Hashem, which you call them a, a congregation of holiness. And those, it's not just any day, it's not a particular day, a particular time. I mean, it's true that it's set somewhat by the calendar, but it has a special quality that we have to declare them. The Jewish people, the base, the Sanhedrin, uh, with Kiddush HaChodesh, for those of you who know what that means, those are the Moadei Hashem, nothing else. In other words, it's a two-way partnership in terms of determining what day is a Moed. Kodesh Baruch Hu tells us that Tet Vav of Nisan is Pesach. But we declare when Tet Vav of Nisan is going to be because we declare when it's Rosh Chodesh, when it's not Rosh Chodesh. And therefore, that's an integral part of determining what the moid is. It's not set in stone, so to speak, or set in the stars. It's a two-way street, and that's what this first Pasuk has come to ta- t- teach us. Um, I'm only going to do this Pasuk for this video. Now, that's uh, for those of you now who need a little bit more help with Hebrew, I'm going to go a little bit more basic. Um, Vaidaber. Vaidaber, um, daiber is the verb, da'od base resh. The yud in the front makes it future tense, and the vav in front of the future tense, turns it into a past tense. This is the unique aspect of Biblical Hebrew, that the vav in front of verbs, of uh, past tense or present tense, ver- of past or future tense verbs, almost always changes the tense. So if you have a verb that's in the past tense, it becomes in the future. If you have a verb that's in the future, it becomes the past. So even though yidaber means he will speak, vaidaber, vaidaber means he spoke. Hashem spoke el to Moshe, he spoke to Moshe, and this is what he said. Lemur is saying. Lemur is the infinitive. Um, the bear, also the infinitive. Speak to El, to the children of Israel. Bnei Yisrael. Bnei is what's called the smichut. And banim is very plural of ben, of a son or child. So bnei is, um, is the plural version, is, is like banim. It's but since it's gonna go, we're gonna since like the word of is gonna be in this phrase. Since it's children of Israel, you indicate of by doing what's called the smichut. So instead of doing banim Yisrael or banim shal Yisrael, you take off the mem. You just do bnei Yisrael. Uh, Amarta 
And again, Amarta is past tense. Amarta, uh, Alf Memresh is the Shorish, you will say. The Tuf at the end makes it past tense, you said. But the Vav makes it to future tense. And you will say, Alehem. Alehem is like L, but it has a suffix. You will say to Hem, them. Alehem. And then, more, this is what I said before. Moedei Hashem, the... the, the Again, this is in the smichut, the moadim of Hashem, the moadei Hashem, the uh, holidays of Hashem. I share that you will call. This is future plural. Otam, you will call them. This is a, a pronoun. You will. What will you? What will you declare? What will you call them? The moadim. What will you call them? You call them a mikrei kodesh, a mikraim. I don't know. The calling, a convocation of holiness. Elu these. Haim are them, Moadai. Uh, this is a little difficult, but basically translate this, these are my Moadim. Okay, I hope you all find that helpful. I'll try to continue these up through the course. Uh, see you in, sh- uh, see you in the share. Bye-bye.